could happen. And now to a CBS 4 News exclusive story. A Miami rapper facing the music connected to an alleged armed robbery and assault that happened earlier this year. CBS 4's Brian Andrews was there as gunplay surrendered at Miami-Dade Police Headquarters. Gunplay, would you like to say anything before you... Huge in the world of rap and hip-hop, but quiet as a church mouse, Gunplay, whose real name is Richard Morales, followed his lawyer's advice and said nothing as he turned himself in to face armed robbery and assault charges. He gave some personal items to family and friends who went with him at the time of surrender and then headed off to face the music of the charges filed against him. Prosecutors say he pulled a gun back in April during an argument at a tax preparer's office in northwest Miami-Dade, punching the accountant whom he's known for five years in the head, then taking his gold chain and cell phone. Prosecutors say gunplay and another man later returned to that tax office and pointed a gun at the accountant one more time, screaming obscenities. This is something that is nothing more than a misunderstanding. This stems from an incident back in April. It wasn't even reported till a month later. And uh, we're, we're confident that when it's, when it's all said and done, he's going to be a free man again. Gunplay is a well-known Miami rapper, part of Rick Ross's Maybach Music Group. He recently signed with Def Jam Records and has been all over MTV and the Internet. He's, he's affiliated with Maybach Music and, uh, you know, he's, he's been making some headlines these days. And, uh, you know, we're, we're hoping that we can get him back out and get him back doing his music. Just days ago, Gunplay got into a scuffle outside the BET Awards in Atlanta with members of rapper 50 Cent's entourage. Police in Atlanta briefly detained him, but never ran him in the system to know he was a wanted man in South Florida. He knows about the warrant. He wants to deal with it. He wants to address it head on, and, and we're looking forward to having him be exonerated in court. At Miami-Dade Police Headquarters in Doral, Brian Andrews, CBS 4 News. And Brian tells us that Gunplay had a planned performance in Atlanta this week and a show he most likely will not attend since the charge of armed robbery means he cannot post bond.